What's going on, Respawn Army? FM Radio TX here, playing some Demolition on some Black Ops. Uh, getting really excited, man. I've been watching a lot of the E3 footage that Machinima has been putting up, and I can say, uh, yeah, I'm going to be very poor this Christmas season and starting into next year, but that is the nature of the beast as it is. The good news is, though, is that by the time I end up spending all of my hard-earned cash, uh, it'll be time for refunds from our wonderful government, so I may actually have some money after all, but, you know, that's a long time away, but like I said, I saw some amazing trailers coming out of E3, saw some amazing gameplay, and I am really excited about what's around the corner. So if I had to narrow it down to the one thing that just totally blew my mind out of E3, I, I have to go with Microsoft, and during their press conference, all of the new features for Kinect more so in all of the ubisoft the tom clancy games that are coming out i'm just like oh my god the future is here and the trailer for rise as well that looks intense you know maybe i'm not going to be fat for the rest of my life so thank you microsoft in advance for helping me lose weight i do believe that the reason why i'm so excited about all of these new connect uh features and games that are coming out is because I kind of feel justified now in investing money into the Kinect. I mean, I kind of figured that technology would eventually get to the point to where we would be able to use it in some of these uh, more mainstream and popular games, but I didn't realize it would be this soon. So when the Kinect came out, uh, I was excited about getting one, but I kind of put it off, and then I heard some rumors about uh, Tom Clancy's Future Soldier being Kinect ready. So I went out and bought a Kinect, but I was going back and forth as to, okay, was it really worth the money? Did I just waste my money? But to be able to see the cool features that came out of E3 and just the direction that uh, Microsoft is going with the Kinect, I'm really excited for what the future of gaming is, really. Now, in the press conference, they didn't actually show the gameplay with the Kinect. It was more so in setting up the weapons and testing them out on, it looked like a firing range, but I'm really wondering if you can actually play it in the game. If you can, man, that's awesome. If not, I do think, like I said, it's kind of soon for technology like that, but I really do think we'll get there eventually. And I was talking with my roommate a while back and some of my other friends was like, can you just imagine how crazy it would be to play a game like you know, Modern Warfare or Black Ops or Battlefield with the Connect. Oh man, that would be intense. And then it reminds me of that one thing that Kovic said during uh, the Inside Gaming Daily, to where he said, "Oh yeah, you know, Connect's going to be uh, Gears of War is going to be Connect compatible, but you have to do two players so that way you can actually do a real curb stomp." You know, will we see that soon? No, but man, when we when it gets there, like I said, I'm just really excited about all of this. So that's what I'm most excited about coming out, out of E3, but I do know there are some other things that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, for instance, uh, and this would not have happened had it not been for you know E3, but I'm actually really excited about Dead Island. After having seen some gameplay from it, I guess the trailer was nice, it was cinematic, you know, it was kind of moving, it was unique, but I really didn't know what the game was about, so I was kind of like, meh, but and seeing the gameplay man i think that that is a game that i would actually enjoy so i'm actually that's another game that i'm looking forward to that's coming out of course uh, modern warfare 3 i'm really looking forward to i do have to say though i'm more of a battlefield fanboy so i think that i am more excited about battlefield 3 uh, than anything and then after that it has to be gears uh, i love gears played the shit out of the beta <laughs> man i I'm actually, you know, fiending. Oh, I've got a little twitch going on. I know you can't see it, but I really do want to get back into some Gears action, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. So all in all, it's going to be a great holiday season. It's going to be a great next year, and it's got me wondering what's actually going to come next. My guess is a new console uh, for either Microsoft or PlayStation. I think that's probably going to be the next announcement for the, the coming year. So Respawn Army. Talk to me. What's got you excited about E3? What did you like? What were you impressed with? What was kind of eh for you? Uh, leave your comments in the section below and uh, let me know what you thought of this year's E3. What are you most excited about playing? Uh, is the PlayStation Move dead? You know, is Connect officially the new technology for motion? Uh, what do you think of the new Connect technology and how it's being used? 
I'm really interested to know what y'all think about all of this and what y'all have seen through uh, Machinima's uh, coverage of E3. So talk to me. Let me know what's going on. All right, so one last piece of business before I sign out. Uh, once again, all you creative artists out there, I'm still looking for music to put together to montages. Like I said, I have no musical talent, but I love putting together montages. So if you have something, PM me on YouTube or on Facebook and let me know what's going on. Uh, as always, thank you for checking out The Casual Gamer. Be sure and check out the YouTube channel. Got some great montage footage and some other stuff going on. Take it easy. Peace.